the slow one, no I don't take shit, I got no love for the fakeness If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this, I'll show up I don't ever slow up, no I don't take shit, I got no love for the fakeness If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this, I'll always show up and make a statement I don't ever slow up, no I don't take shit, I got no love for the fakeness If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this, I'll always show up Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. I hope you liked the intro. Some of the shooting were actually things that happened during this trip. And I will not spoil anything of what can happen when are you going to activate the Thargoid site. It's a very nice experience and I will just follow you with the, the steps to perform in order to activate the site. The rest is gonna be a surprise for you all. Let's go to the video. The outfitting. What we actually need to complete this task is uh, we can start with the ISP Explorer that has enough space, so no R point, just to have a longer jump range to be light. On the utility, you will need mandatory manifest scanner. For internal, beside everything, I suggest a good frame shift drive because we need to fly uh, quite out around 500 lights here. It's not that much, but if you, if you have a shorter jump range, it's gonna take uh, forever. On the optional internal, you will need the anti collision cargo rack with at least two as a cap because you will need the two icebreaker link pad. One detailed surface scanner and icebreaker link pad controller. And for when we go to the site, the planetary vehicle hangar. And in the vehicle base, just the scarab. Next stop to gather our cargo with materials is Maya in the Pleiades sector. Once in the Maya system, we have to look for the Sanchez class science vessel. Now, the first time you spawn, you will not see it because the first time is visible only if you are 1000 light second close to it. So what you need to do is you go to system map and the first time you have to aim to Maya 2A. You aim here and then what uh, it will happen, it will appear directly in the contact. So now let's target it and let's go towards it. Once arrived, we need to target the ship and with the the data link scanner we need to scan the ship be careful in this area there could be other players or it can be visited by the Thargoid as well so one scan this will give us the location of several items on the ship and if you can see here in contact there is nothing don't worry we just need to get closer and we need to look for the cargo pod. As soon as we are approaching it, we will see that more and more information on the ship starting to appear. Cargo bay, that's what we are looking for. The science vessel, everyone, normally they have four. One, two, three, four. So let's start to see with the cargo bay number one and it's on the other side of the ship. Now, it is a good idea to put ourselves in a good position for the scan. 
and we have to get within I think 300 meters of range in order to scan it. First of all, we scan the cargo bay with the data link scanner. Now we scan it with the manifest scanner. Then to see what inside, we go to contact, is already target. We go to the sub target menu and we check what's inside. Breakage component, occupied escape pod, mineral oil, hydrogen. In those pods, there are, we can find the targoid sensor and targoid probe. If we don't find them, we just need to log back uh, to the main menu and log in again until we didn't find it. So it normally took me the first time, it took me four attempts to find them both. Now I will just pause it, the, re the recording, and until I don't find it. Okay, now after four or five relog, I found the Targoid sensor. Now what we need to do is select our patch breaker cargo bay we need to after that select the limpet docking point and now all is blue what i need to do is release the hatch breaker that will go towards the point it will start this maneuver of overriding the system in the meantime i can open the cargo scoop and wait for the material to be released. We we'll have this siphon resource complete and it will release the material. What I need to do then is go into contact and look for the cargo itself. Of course, you, you can also fit some limpet control inside, but you can also scoop it manually. And we also found our Targoid probe. So this whole process probably took me about 16 reload. So don't give up, just keep reloading the instance. After having gathered both Targoid sensor and Targoid probe, we will move to one of the closest sites, which is HIP14909 for the Targoid link. Here is where you need the Scarab or the SRV. In this place, we will find the Targoid link. Now we will go and look. First of all, we need the probe and the sensor from the ship. Once we got them, we have to enter the structure. This is the only way, because with the sensor, the door, it will automatically open. And then we have to look for the Targoid link in a separate chamber. There we go. When we come close to it, with the probe and the sensor, those exit should deliver the Targoid link canister. Now we have to move towards the central chamber. Once it's tied inside the structure, you need to select and scan the cargo device. Okay, so now we collect the structure data and now we have three holograms where we need to put our probe and link. Each hologram, you have here this space in front as its dedicated space and we need to recognize them 
via the shape so be very careful with the image when you select them so now i'm here i will go to this panel this should be the pro and i will go abandon if it's done correctly they will appear hanging in this side of the chamber now i will do the same i will just raise the volume so we can hear also the sound <laughs> 